Hi James. Now, the Student Recruitment and Support Centre deal with people who may not yet be Open University students and also continuing students. You're the frontline staff. So tell us, what sort of calls do you get from people who are not yet students? So the first sort of call that we would get from a student is really sort of what the Open University is about. So we deal with people that sometimes it takes them years to just even pick up the phone to sort of give us a call. So really we want to have a conversation with them to see whether or not firstly if studying is right for them and find out the real reasons why a student would want to study. There are lots of reasons why people want to sort of join the Open University and a lot of it is sort of career changes and things like that. So we really need to make sure that from the beginning that that student's on the right pathway to get to where they want to be for the next steps, whether that's career change, postgraduates, and we really need to sort of identify that from the beginning. And of course being on the right qualification pathway is, is really, really important, but you also have a lot of access to information about things like funding. Yeah, so we literally need to sort of know all the information. Um, so a lot of students don't know how, whether or not they even can study based on the student's personal circumstances. So every single conversation is going to be different to the next. We need to identify the person's needs from the beginning, um, whether or not they can financially afford it. We need to really sort of probe the questions and really get to understand that person's situation before we start looking at the courses that we offer for that student. Some people will study with the Open University because they have a disability or, or some other means of not being able to access another sort of institution. Mm -hmm. How do you support those people? So with those uh, students, there's lots of different support methods that are available to them. So for us, for instance, we're distance learning. So a lot of people are already in full-time employment. So including with the disability students, there's lots of support. So we can do sort of home examinations and provide mentors, one-to-one -one support sessions. So we can really sort of alter the qualifications to a student's needs, whether that is a disability or even sort of personal circumstances such as like a carer and things like that. And you also know about all of the funding options available to students, so you can talk them through what they might be entitled to. Exactly, yeah. So we can literally talk to them about all the different funding options that are available, um, all the financial support methods that are available as well, including bursaries, um, financial support from the government, or even here at the Open University, we have our own sort of financial support methods for people. So when students then have registered with the Open University, they're on their qualification, they still get in touch with you. What are some of the things that you tend to get the most phone calls about. Majority of the phone calls we get from continuing students could be things such as like they no longer they've had like a change of personal interest and they want to change their qualification or if they're going through a difficult personal circumstances they might want to have a study break and we treat each student as an individual and we custom the study to suit that, that student's lifestyle. Excellent. I'm going to go and have a chat to Abby to find out more about exactly how all this works. Thank you James. Sure, yeah, no problem. Thank you. Hi Abby. Now you've had a really busy day today taking a lot of phone calls. Tell us about what's been going on for you. So at the minute we're going through registration so we have a lot of students calling us up to look to enrol into their qualification so whether that's making their reservation which is the initial step that students take and then they go on to do the registration which is where they get their funding in place. So a, a lot of this period is sort of about getting the paperwork side of things sorted, helping students sort out their funding forms or if they're wanting to make card payments, getting that process done and getting all the information that they need to get started on their qualification. We also have new inquirers calling us so if they're looking um, for information on a qualification. A lot of our students, because we're a distance learning university, may not quite understand what that entails when they start studying with us, so they're looking to sort of look at what support they're going to get, so whether they're going to have a tutor, um, because sometimes they may not see that from distance learning how that might work. So our students do get one-to-one uh, -one support with a tutor, and they also have us here at Student Recruitment. We've also got other departments that we liaise with, so we have senior advisors that can offer them on-module support, and for our new inquirers as well. The right qualification is so important to students, so how do you support them in finding out what that might be? Yeah, so for a lot of our students this is life changing, you know, deciding to come back to study, it may be that we have parents that have been out of education for a while and that want to start a new career, or we might have 
young inquirers that um, have decided that maybe distance learning is for them instead of going to a traditional university and they want to do their studies online. Um, choosing the right qualification is a big decision and there's lots to choose from. We have a lot of courses here at the Open University, so whether they're looking for a certificate or a diploma or a um, BA honours degree. So there's a lot of options here and we're here to help to make them the, make sure they make the right choice. And you've obviously got the phone calls and the web chat and, and emails as well, but you also make phone calls to students. Can you tell me more about that? So we may do some calls to our students if they need on-module support. So if at any point a student is struggling, like I say, with Distance Learning University, it's really important to make sure that our students feel that they have got that support behind them. So they have their tutor that offers the one-to-one -one support, but then we're here if they're ever struggling with any of their assignments that are due in or if they need help um, accessing the support online. So we have um, a lot of systems that the students can use. A lot of module um, resources are online as well. So it's making sure that they've got all the access that they need and if they ever have any questions or feel that they need some extra support then maybe that's with um, different types of materials that they want to use so if you know online materials don't work for them and they need um, other module materials sent to them that's something that we can look to do or if they've just got any questions or feel that maybe that they're struggling with their work or keeping up with it a lot of our students do work and have full-time jobs so we're offering that support to give them um, reassurance that there is opportunity and if they need um, you know for longer time for their studies that we can offer that to them it sounds like it's really problem solving you know finding out how we can be as flexible as possible whilst ensuring that those students are progressing if indeed that is what they want to do yeah that's a really key thing for us is flexibility because we understand that students you know they they have a lot of other things going on other than their studies and it's making making sure that their study is, is working around their, their life and if they've got young children or if they're carers or if they've got a disability that might be causing them problems, that we are offering that support that they need and it's fitting the study around their lifestyle. And it's a really lovely, friendly team. And of course, you're open from eight to eight on weekdays. Yeah, we are. And on weekends also from nine to five. And, yeah. and as we said before, there's also the web chat and email that students can get in touch with if they prefer. Yeah, there's a lot of support here and there's a lot of time available and we try and make that as flexible as possible. Thank you, Abby. Thank you.